When you focus on the breath, make sure the breath feels good. If it doesn't feel good, you can experiment with lots of different ways of changing it, making it longer or shorter, heavier, lighter, faster, slower, deeper, more shallow. This is a very direct way of showing goodwill for yourself. I talk about goodwill meditation or the development of goodwill. It's not just a thought, but it's a thought that you want to act on. You're setting your intention. And one way of showing yourself that you really do have goodwill is by breathing in a way that doesn't create any tension, doesn't create any tightness, doesn't create any irritation inside. And the results of this goodwill don't stop with you. They spread out to other people. When your mind is staying at a better place inside, then it's a lot easier to have the right attitude toward other people. Now, this does not automatically mean that you'll be able to do and say, think the right thing about them. That's why there's more to the training than just goodwill. Our compassion and our goodwill need to be educated. But it's good to start with them to make sure they're strong and to make sure they're not just empty thoughts. You start with the breath. You act on that goodwill, and that strengthens it, gives it meaning, gives it more reality. When the Buddha talks about training a goodwill, he starts out by talking about how there are lots of other qualities you need to develop along with it so that the goodwill doesn't become hypocritical. You want your life to be in line with your goodwill, both the way you treat others and the way you treat yourself. So this is one of those aspects of making sure that your goodwill really is strong and really is a, a force for improvement in the world. Because we do want to make a change. You know, we don't know how much of the world we can change, but we can change the world inside the mind. That's the best place to start.